Good morning dears. Our subject is experimental techniques. Now we are dealing with the module thin film techniques. In this we are now dealing with the topic thickness measurement and we have already discussed the method electrical conductivity measurement. Now today we can discuss the quartz crystal monitor and optical interference method to measure the thickness of a thin film. The next is the quartz crystal monitor. The easiest way to measure the thickness of thin film down to about 100 nanometer is to weight the substrate with a sensitive micro balance before and after the deposition of the film. The thickness D is related to mass delta M of the th film by relation delta M is equal to rho F into A D. From this we know rho F and A are the mass density and area of the film respectively. The thickness is a mean value averaged over the total film area. And in a quartz crystal monitor the rate of evaporation and the thickness is often controlled by quartz crystal thickness monitor. This type of monitor utilizes the thickness shear mode of a piezoelectric quartz crystal. The mass are added on one side or both sides shifts the resonance frequency. Generally, an AT cut crystal is used due to its low temperature coefficient of resistivity for the resonance frequency. And in case of a quartz crystal monitor, the frequency of fundamental resonance for AT cut crystals is given by F is equal to 1 by 2T root of C by rho Q. In this, T is the thickness of the crystal, rho Q is the density and C is the shear elastic constant. If a deposit of mass M is added to the surface area A, then the frequency again changes by delta F, where delta F is equal to minus Fkm by rho Q AT, in this case a constant to unity. By combining the above equation such as Fn delta F, we can write it as minus F square Km by N rho Q A is equal to minus C F M by A or minus C F rho F T. In this, the negative sign indicates that a decrease in frequency as the mass added increases. Then, the film thickness T is equal to minus del F by C F rho F Cf is equal to minus F square K by N rho Q. That is a constant of the crystal. That is Cf. Assuming uniform film thickness and constant density of the film, M by A is equal to T into rho F. The higher sensitivity is obtained for higher frequency and del F is proportional to F square. That is all about the quartz crystal monitor. Then, in the quartz crystal monitor, the schematic diagram is shown here. An oscillatory quartz crystal with a natural frequency is placed inside the vacuum chamber above the source. The vapor is deposited both on the substrate and on a defined area of the crystal surface. The second crystal with a natural frequency 6.5 MHz, which is nearer to the previous one is mounted in the control unit outside the chamber. The difference between the crystal frequencies that we have used is amplified and it is mixed with a variable oscillator in another circuit to produce final difference frequency between 0 to 100 kilohertz. <coughs> the mass of deposited material causes a reduction in the natural resonance frequency of monitor crystal which causes an increase in the final difference frequency. This change is converted to a DC signal and that actuates the frequency shift meter and rate meter. Thus, the thickness of the film and its rate deposition are displayed on the meters. After this deposition, the frequency shift meter is brought to zero by adjusting the variable oscillator frequency. The deposition can be added to the monitor crystal. In this setup, the crystal sees the vapor source because of radiation temperature increases due to heat condensation of vapors also 
warm up the crystal to avoid these problems suitable radiation sheet should be provided in case of quartz crystal monitor the next method for thickness measurement is optical interference method when two highly reflecting surfaces are brought into close proximity interference ranges are observed when the assembly is viewed in the monochromatic light and these techniques can be employed when the film to be studied remains stable in vacuum and can be coated with highly reflective silver layer this arrangement can be combined with any light microscope to observe the interference fringes the film is deposited onto a glass substrate there are two commonly used setups for inter optical interference method that is the first one the fissure fringes of equal thickness and the second one fissure fringes fissure interferometer with beam splitter now we can deal with the first method for optical interference that is fissure fringes of equal thickness schematic diagram for the same is given in the slide and the interferometer consists of two inclined optically flat glass plates which is shown in the figure one of which supports the thin film forming a step on the substrate and the second plate is kept in contact with the film surface okay the interferometer is viewed in a parallel beam of monochromatic light at normal incidence as in the figure low power microscope is used for that the observed fringe system consists of dark fringes which is correspond to loci points of equal air gap thickness and the adjacent fringes separated by lambda by 2 the surface of optical flats are highly reflecting so the reflected fringe system will consist of very fine dark fringes against a bright background the fringe width can be kept as small as lambda by 4 when the fringes pass over the film setup it suffers displacement displacement can be expressed as a fraction of lambda by 2 fringe spacing and gives film thick This is the method of fissure fringes of equal thickness used for optical interference method. And the next optical interference method is fissure interferometer with beam splitter. The schematic diagram is shown in the figure. In this method yields fringes of larger width so it has a less accuracy and the thickness as low as 20 angstrom can be easily measured by this method. and the advantage of this method is the optical flat does not touch the film so the film does not get scratched and the reflecting step is not required in this the beam from the beam splitter the film can be easily observed through the microscope uh, and a monochromatic source is used as in the figure a sharp edge within the film is fabricated by shadowing with a fine edge blade thin film is then coated with a highly reflecting silver layer second glass plate with a silver coated surface is lowered onto the glass substrate the whole system is illuminated with a parallel beam of monochromatic light from the mercury lamp when the cover glass is tilted slightly multiple beam interference fringes appear with a distance x in the region of sharp edge fringes are shifted by a distance delta x the shift corresponds to thickness step of lambda by 2 thickness of the film is given by d is equal to delta x by x into lambda by 2 which is the thickness step if a transparent or slightly absorbing filling is deposited on a transparent substrate of diffract different refractive index the optical reflectance reflectance and transmittance behavior of the film substrate combination shows an oscillatory behavior with the increase in thickness of film this occurs because of the interference effect and the reflectance is reduced or enhanced depending on the ref relative values of refractive indices of film and substrate material the thickness of the film can be determined from maxima and minima of the reflectance which occur at interval given by 2m lambda by 4 is equal to mu of into t in this mu of is the refractive index of the film t is the thickness lambda is the wavelength of light m is the order of minimum and maximum a laser source may be used for finding the thickness of the multilayer dielectric films for optical applications 
the reflectance of successively increasing number of multilayers are shown in this graph that is the experimental observations on variation of reflectance of zinc sulfate and magnesium fluoride lambda by 4 films is shown in the figure from the figure with the increasing number of layers the amplitude of oscillatory variation decreases and thus reducing the sensitivity of this method to overcome this difficulty photocell method is used two photocells are assembled in series opposition one cell monitoring the reflected intensity from the sample and the other one illuminated by variable intensity light thus only oscillatory part is obtained and amplified this procedure allowed to monitor thin films up to 15 layers so we had discussed the optical thin uh, interference method for measuring the thickness of thin film so now we had discussed all the methods of thickness measurement thank you study well stay safe